All right, this is the Time Old Ring Hair Straightening Comb versus the Time Old Ionic Hair Straightening Brush Review. Both products are designed differently. One's designed more like a comb, reminiscent of those old school uh, hot combs. And this one is more like a brush. Come with the clips, the brush, and a heat resistant glove. So I wanted to, to see the difference between the two, which one was going to work better. So I'll shampoo my hair first, and uh, just checking the length. It's grown a lot. Then I allowed it to air dry for a few hours. I did not want to blow dry my hair straight first because I wanted to see how well the iron was going to do when my hair is in this state. So I began to press it but I made sure I pressed it underneath the uh, section first and slowly glided down the hair shaft at an angle holding the ends taut just to make sure that I got it nice and straight. Now I was not planning on making my hair bone straight. I didn't think it was going to get bone straight. I actually thought it was going to be like a real good blowout. But it turned out like a press. Like I took an iron off of the stove and pressed my hair myself. I'm very impressed. You can tell just by the look on my face. Very, very impressed and shocked. I'm straightening every single follicle that I have, every single hair follicle. So I made sure I finished the rest of my head and um, rather quick and easy. Especially since I didn't uh, blow dry my hair first. You know, the key to a really good, straight finish is a really good blowout. I normally have to blow dry my hair for a really long time, burning my hands, the attachment falls off, my arms are burning, I'm frustrated, there's hair all over the place. And so that's why I'm so excited at the fact that I don't have to blow dry my hair anymore. All I have to do is just press it out from the, its natural state. That's huge. That is huge for a black girl. You have no idea how excited I am about this product. They really do need an award. It's got a nice shine. So I made sure I use the product without any oil, just to see how shiny it will be. And I also don't like to put product in my uh, hair iron. Oh, I'm pressed. It got my ends too, which is very impressive. I've never been able to straighten my ends, especially when they're as raggedy as they were. I have to trim them, but at least I was able to straighten them first. That's huge. about these two straightening brushes is that I can straighten large sections opposed to smaller sections like I would normally have to do when I'm flat ironing my hair which accelerates the process it speeds up the process a bit which I'm all about because I really don't like to do my own hair so anything that I can do that'll make it nice and quick and easy and simple I'm all for it. I had it at a nice angle. I was holding it taut at the end to make sure it's nice and straight as possible. Now look at that. Look at that. 
gorgeous. Fabulous. Nice and slow. the rest of my hair using the brush on that side. Very easy, very, very user friendly, quick. And for a person with long hair, long thick hair, this is everything for me. I haven't straightened my hair out in years. Simple because I don't want to put a whole lot of heat on my hair and I also don't want to lose the curl pattern. But I can do that with this product without damaging my hair. Finished results. Straight and calm. Nice shine. Ionic straightening brush. It's got more body, it's, a, it's more frizzy. This side is a lot sleeper, so I prefer the comb. I don't know if you notice the difference. Make sure you uh, comment on the bottom and tell me what you think. If you see a difference, on which side do you like the best? Glad to make sure it's, you know, and to check and make sure it's nice and thorough. It is very thorough. It straightened every hair strand I have, every strand of hair I have. Except for one last piece, I had to get the root. I missed that part. So I was able to go in and, you know, straighten my root and touch my scalp with the brush without burning myself. Do you know how huge that is? That's a breakthrough. Dude, love it. I am so happy. <laughs> Yay, nice. This is good for the DIYer. This is also a fabulous product for professionals as well. And I know that if I wanted it straight, turning that, like bone straight, I could just go over with my flat iron and get it way straighter. But I didn't. I didn't want that look. I wanted this look. A nice, flowy, you know, natural, easy, breezy look. So I always put a little argan oil on my hair from root to end. And excuse the facial expressions, but it's a serious thing. We got, you know, I'm focused because I put a very small amount of hair oil in my hair. Uh, just to make sure that it's, you know, coated thoroughly, but I don't want to put a whole lot because I don't like, I like my hair to flow, I like for it to blow in the wind, I like easy breezy, light, flowy hair, and, you know, product will just kind of wear it down, or weigh it down, so I put very little, so I try my best to be as thorough as I can, so it takes some, you know, some focus, man. This definitely saved me a trip to the hair salon, I will say that, and that's huge. And in these days and times, that's what we gotta do. Before, and after. Tell me what you think. Like, share, and subscribe, and smash that notification button.